Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, oh, what is that? Jobs are up. The market's doing great. Wait, wait a minute. Where, where did that come from? Oh, didn't you know that this is everything that's going on in the economy? Factory orders are up. The real estate market is up. And wait, was that the news in actuality? Well, well Chris Christie's out and is running for the president. Oh. I mean, I think he can add. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Wall Street in a state of total collapse over all new taxes, government plans for more spending, and default of Greece once again. Well, I know. I mean, they're right now, they're not even the... They, okay, here's the trick is. Greece says, well, we're not in any danger of defaulting next week. We have enough money to last us for a couple of months. And then they, they issue bonds that are worth nothing to Finland to pay off debts that they owe to Finland. And then the, the uh, Europeans know they're defaulting again. Okay, here it is. Their restructuring plan will only cut the debt by eight, um, they, they said they will only cut the debt by 8.7 percent and the debt is increasing by 19 percent. Mm -hmm. Which means it, it, it doesn't balance because they said they're, they're pissed off like Obama is. Don't you people in Greece understand that we're raising taxes on all the businesses that are coming into Greece to do business and all the tourists that are coming in to come to the tourists and everything that anybody does in Greece in order to save the country? Well, it's like when you take a radiation treatment and it kills the patient. Mm -hmm. You're killing the patient because no one's coming into the country. They said since they announced their austerity programs, the tourism has fell by 28%. Ah. Which basically means they have less money. But the, and the Democrats Sunday morning, there is no proof on record that raising taxes has ever cost anybody any jobs or brought in less revenue. <laughs> Go to Greece, folks. It's such for every day. They're on the verge of default because they keep raising taxes to pay the bills and less money's coming in. Oh. And the Federal Reserve is not political. Um, you must pass Obama's jobs bill taxes on the wealthy and continue high deposits. De deficits, yep. Okay, I have to cover. Rex, you know. Oh, continue high deficits? Yeah, it's spelled exactly the same thing. The spell said different. But Rex worships the ground. He's like, okay, we're going to put it this way. Even though Monty is a, as a news dog and doesn't believe in taking one side or the other, unfortunately, one of her kids, Rex, worships the ground the president works on, so I try to cover his ears when we talk about it. Um, you know, like the guy said this morning, yeah, that on the, on, I'm listening on the Wall Street Journal, like, the, they are totally independent of the president. You must continue the president's spending policies. You must pass the jobs bill. You must increase the taxes on the wealthy. You must clamp down on banks so that they won't lend money that they're not lending now. And uh, that will save the country. And then the guy said, "Yeah, but isn't the problem is that we spend so much money that no one wants us? No one wants us. Mm -hmm. Our money. We're not selling anything. No jobs are being created. And um, it, the president just keep digging a hole. And now Bernanke and uh, and the uh, and Gren Gren the other guy says we must continue his programs of screwing up in order to save the economy. Uh huh. I, I, that works. So Rex can get his ears back down." And Obama and the Democratic leaders admit that things are worse than when Obama became president because of Bush and the Republicans and wealthy people. I, I know. The wealthy people are the only thing that's keeping the country going. They're the ones that are spending. They're the ones that are paying all the taxes. Uh, well, if they paid more taxes than we... I, I mean, I heard this woman yesterday. It was unbelievable. The reason why we're not, the jobs aren't being created is because the rich SOBs are refusing to hire people because they're black and they're brown. Mm -hmm. No, they're refusing to hire people because the, it, it, the way it works is you can't take things away from a person that isn't using it. If they set on it, there's nothing Obama can do to take it because most of them are just shifting to come money out of this country as fast as they can in one form or another. They know that if they, if they do something, the taxes are going up on what they make. So why make it? If you, if you hire people, you can't afford to pay their health care, which means the government's got to basically shut you down. And you can't borrow money. So why would you want to spend money to do business in this country at the moment? Nobody in his right mind would. So, But they don't understand that because they've read textbooks and this should be working. Mm -hmm. It didn't work in the Soviet Union. 
All the Soviet, all the communists basically gave up on that type of government. And Obama gets to sit and watch the rebuilding of the USSR. Oh yeah, Putin announced that yesterday. It's not going to be the USSR. It's going to be a series of, the, you know, of states put together that have a common interest. Um, that's called the, Uni that's the uh, Union of Soviet Socialists. They'll just call it something now. No, they're going to call it the custom union. That we have, we have our customs and everything is the same thing. It's going to be called the, uh, the CU. <laughs> yeah, the customs union. And he, he, he said, you know, and, and, uh, the world was happy when the Soviet Union was busted up. Obama is presiding over the rebuilding of the Soviet Empire right underneath him. You know, he will go down in history. Oh, I mean, uh, okay. I mean, See, that, that's one thing that, as much as they try and rewrite history... No, they can rewrite he, history. Okay. That is one thing that, I mean, whether he likes it or not, is happening while he's president. No, what happens is the Democrats, when they rewrite history, they tend to take out the parts they don't like. There will be a president of the United States that will be missing in the history books. They'll say, you know, like the 43rd president of the United States was Barack Obama, and then go to the next president. Oh. Yeah, the heavy, but heavy blaming things on Bush and the next president, but Obama will occupy one line, his name, they won't even mention he's the first black president. They'll just say he was the president of the United States. Ooh, Remember, that's like worse. If they've got presidents that they don't like, like Van Buren and people like that, they only do one like one. Oh, that's true. They, there's hardly anything known about them. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Well, no, but, you know, and part of it is from Russian history, it'll be all over the place. Oh, the whole world will talk about how Barack Hussein Obama, America's first, as they say. I, I love this. I mean, I've heard the Russians talking, you know. That uh, generally people like that are cleaning our toilets, and you elected one as your president. Ooh. That's how they're going to describe him. That he did exactly what everyone in the world knew that he was going to do, except the people that elected him. Mm -hmm. And senators court 2012 votes with China currency bill. Well, yeah, and they uh, they also said they're going <laughs> to basically they're going to start a trade war with China, which everybody knew was coming. Which is, I mean, it's called really brilliant. We owe the Chinese government got off amounts of money, so now, because they won't, uh, you know, here it is, they won't take over the job as a currency of the world. Guess who's pushing that plan, folks? Um, yeah. You know, and this is one of those things that I'm, we're so focused on world news that we forgot that the big announcement today from Apple is um, the new Apple iPhone. Yeah, but Five! Okay, I, I am listening. Uh, Verizon has ordered... 20 million more fives than they could sell in fours. Why would you order more of the new one than you could sell the old one? Because okay. 20 million more, that's a lot more. Yeah, they also said that somewhere along the line, the new guy over at Apple thinks that the Android doesn't exist. Oh, really? He thinks that the Android or the tablets do not exist. They, they just totally, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I can imagine Stephen Jobs, who isn't dead yet, sitting there. What the hell are those people doing? You know, they're, 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 they're going to make record. We said, we control. Every, he's a control freak. They only release X amount. So they're going to dump 30 million iPhones over to Verizon, which means they're going to dump 30, they're going to have 30, they're going to turn out maybe 100 million iPhones in a market that maybe does maybe 10, 20 million a year. Um, something doesn't sound right. But the other part is Verizon was having problems and people were defecting from Verizon because they figured Verizon couldn't handle the iPhone. They can't handle. They couldn't handle the iPhone. They got and so they're going to order record amounts. And then they said the fact too is that everyone knows that the the Android is overtaking the iPhone because the iPhone is a big, it was the flavor of the month and that flavor is gone. What it was they built a crappy piece of equipment for the first time and the i4 refused to do anything about it. I know. And it basically chased their audience away and. Uh, it's the same thing. Remember, BlackBerry was tremendously hot. Now you can't give Blackberries away to anybody. RAM is it? They're basically people want to take just like Palm. They they want to take over RAM simply because they can get the patents, not because they want to build the device anymore. And the wealthy are trying to replace American workers with robots. I that was Obama yesterday. You believe that? I mean, are you serious? Yeah. I mean, you, they said it's not class warfare because. 
the factory owners are trying to, you know, they're trying to buy robots from Japan and replace factory workers in the United States with, the, with these robots. And just look at the ATM machines that put people out of work. Well, and then they see there's a guy that installs the ATM machine, the guy that collects from the ATM machine, and the guy that repairs the ATM machine. They said ATM machines put three people to work. And no, and you, you try to ever go into a bank to begin with to get service? That's, 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 I haven't seen a bank that's done service in so long. And it has nothing to do with ATM machines, folks. It's got to do with the fact that banks give crappy service. Nobody likes going to banks and they can avoid it. Well, the funny part is, is they put in ATMs to to save money and now if you use your ATM too much then they charge you money for using it. Oh, it but it was originally to save the bank money. Yeah, but it cost them more in person now than going to cost you more to use it. So is it a good one? So robots are not less expensive. Robots are more expensive. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Often it's best to stick what you write first rather than to go back and revisit it. <laughs>